Well, we are one of the most open societies in the world. And I, I think that, that each one of these uh, heinous crimes raises the bar and makes us, compels that we as a nation rethink where we are on our open society versus what are we willing to do in restricting freedom to make sure that we're safe and secure. Very uh, uh, unstable situation here. When, when, when someone like uh, a person of uh, this demonstrated mental illness at the local level and even to the FBI mm -hmm. could get a hold of an assault weapon. We've got to think about that. Yeah, and, and I 100% agree with you. And I think in the past we have seen others that were mentally unstable and there were warning signs, perhaps not as flagrant as these. But do you sense this is different? I mean, I have to tell you, after covering Sandy Hook, I thought, that's different. We saw 20 kindergartners and first graders slaughtered and six teachers trying to protect them. I thought everything would change I after think, that. What do you, how about this time? Yeah. I tend to agree with you. I talked to my staff yesterday. I, th I think this raises the bar uh, significantly that, that a person of this demonstrated debility could get a hold of an assault weapon, that so many warning signs at, the, at all levels of government would go unanswered, and that he could just walk right into another, another soft target school. We've got to harden up these schools. Too many schools have been plagued. Yeah, and we're looking right now at a live picture of Parkland. That is a memorial where people were memorialized yesterday, and they have those angels, and it's, it's absolutely heartbreaking to see. But I'm curious about the president and his response, that seven-minute address to the nation, in which he never uttered the word gun, nothing like gun control. Instead, he promises to secure schools, tackle mental health issues. But let's listen to the teenage survivors, sir, of Parkland and what they're saying about this incident. This can't keep happening. There's so much wrong with this. I don't know how I'm ever going to get past this. I can't even use the bathroom by myself or take a shower or sleep by myself anymore. I want them to do something so that none of the children in this country get hurt anymore. I want them to do something so that they feel safe when they go to school and they feel safe wherever they go. Not that someone has a gun and can easily kill them at any moment. How do you, how do lawmakers, how do all of us comfort these kids? Because they're old enough to know how easy it is for them to buy a gun. Yeah, I think we owe the American people, especially this next generation of youth, something now in the wake of all these shootings. They need to be assured that unstable people uh, are not going to have access to weapons that could kill them. What about, um, and in your history, I know that you've co-sponsored and supported legislation to free up the sale of firearms across state lines, and you voted for conceal and carry across state lines. Why are these good laws? How do you justify the votes well, in light of tragedies like this? And, and do you, are you rethinking that? Well, I, I think that it's the, mat the question is who gets the gun, not the gun itself. I think we need to have really tough laws on, a, on uh, clear background checks and making sure and waiting periods, maybe even put chips in the guns so we know where they are. But something's, some freedoms are going to have to be given up to make sure that unstable people don't have access to those weapons. Guns don't kill people. The deranged people kill people, and, and, and they use guns or they use car bombs or they use different things to do it. See, I don't think you can separate the two. You hear all the time that tagline, you know, guns don't kill people, people kill people. Here's the reality. People with guns kill people. There's, you can't separate the two. Doesn't common sense have to at some point filter into this discussion and have people realize, to your point, that we may have to look at some of our own privacy laws and the, and the concerns about that for the greater good? Oh, I absolutely agree with that. I, I think when unstable people get access to guns, you're just asking for what happened uh, in, in Fort Lauderdale. What about the law in America? It's called the Dickey Amendment, and that prevents government agencies like the CDC from even researching statistics on gun violence. Certainly the, the NRA no, was supportive of that. I mean, shouldn't that be repealed? Is the gun lobby that powerful in Washington? Well, that's a whole separate stu uh, study of, of how powerful are some heinous lobbies in Washington. I'm, I'm fighting the oil industry right now to get the uh, uh, moratorium on offshore drilling in Florida made permanent, and I feel like David and Goliath. But we can take that up separately. I, I don't know what this law is. I'm going to have to find out about it, because we do need to be researching the correlation between the kind of people that get weapons and, and how they use them. Is there a reason that you can think of why any private citizen needs to own an AR? 
AR-15 assault rifle? To be honest with you, I'm not sure. I think people should be able to use them in gun ranges if they want to go rip off a lot of uh, caps, if you will, at a gun range. But do they need to own them and take them out of the, uh, out of the facility? I'm not sure. This do thing here, when, when, a, when a mentally deranged person can get a hold of an AR-15, we, we've, we've got to deal with that. Do you think you and your fellow Republicans are going to agree to do something about gun control now? Well, I certainly am. Not necessarily for uh, normal people, uh, but I definitely think we need to tighten up background checks to make sure that people like this, this cruise guy can't get weapons. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.